Day three, we are at Daytona Speedway at the Harley-Davidson facility, and what do we got? Well, we are absolutely blessed to be here. We're working and riding with these Harley-Davidson's 120th anniversary models. We launched those with Brad, and now we're on these bikes. We had seven different bikes out here. We went up to St. Augustine yesterday, cruised the coast, went through some swampland. Great time, great time, and we have something really special to show you guys, introduce you to the 135 crate engine. That's right, so we did the 120th launch and now we get to see the 135 crate. Let's get to Paul and get some specs on it. I know you guys are ready to rip, right? So this is the Screaming Eagle 135 Stage 4 Performance Crate Engine. This motor comes as fully assembled from the factory, making 130 rear wheel horsepower and 143 foot-pounds of torque. Wow. So it's a lot of performance. And we get to ride this today? You're gonna ride it today, you're gonna twist the throttle, you're gonna twist the loud stick and have some fun on it. <laughs> now Matt told us that we get to go solo and no guides. Well, that's not the case. No? <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have babysitters just to make sure that you don't get into too much trouble. But honestly, we're just out there to have some fun with you guys and just really show you what this motor is all about. Well, but we love it. It's always a new day. We had a great time yesterday. That was we fun. went to St. Augustine. You guys were there, we had a good time, we saw some great things. New day today. New and day today. We appreciate you. You've been on our channel a couple of times talking about the RDRS system and yeah. so forth. So tell us some more about this thing. Give us some specs on it. Yeah, let me go through all the specs because it is packed with performance parts that are designed to work together to create that kind of power. Right. And then assembled, as I said, as a one package at the factory that you can install on your bike. So this is the Screaming Eagle 135 Stage 4 Performance Crate Motor. Now this is a complete Milwaukee 8 engine that fits 21 and later touring models and really is the new benchmark for factory engineered V-twin performance. So first of all, I want to say this beast was developed and fueled in efforts by the Harley-Davidson Screaming Eagle factory racing team competing in King and the Baggers road racing series. So we learned a lot from racing that we applied to this engine. All right, it's engineered and tested as a complete collection of high performance parts and assembled from the bottom up at Harley-Davidson's powertrain operations in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. So what you're looking at here is 68 millimeter throttle body and matching CNC machined intake manifold. These were originally developed by the Screaming Eagle factory racing team to maximize airflow to the engine. They're made with the Screaming Eagle Extreme CNC ported cylinder heads that provides better efficiency and cylinder filling, leading to more explosive power and increased rear wheel torque when compared to stock. High performance valve springs remain stable with a high lift cam and high RPM operation. Screaming Eagle Pro billet cam plate and oil pump provide higher pressure when the oil is hot to keep pressure drops to a minimum. New 10.7 to 1 high compression forged pistons, Screaming Eagle 8 517 high lift camshaft high performance cam bearing and high performance tappets. We have patented 4.31 inch steel sleeve cylinders and new four and five eighths inch flywheel. So the bore and stroke is 4.31 by 4.625. We also have new high capacity 6.8 gram per second fuel injectors. And finally, a Screaming Eagle ventilator extreme air cleaner and Screaming Eagle street cannon mufflers. These are sold separately. They're not required, but they're highly recommended for peak performance. So now you've heard about the bike from Paul and Lance, and now I get to go ride this bad boy. I'm excited. Let's go check it out. Come on. Well, here's the first pull, baby. Woo! This thing's got some cojones, man. Woohoo! Can you hear that, guys? Pure Harley power. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Ooh. I need one of these. Alright, we're gonna give her another pull. Let's go now. See you later. Man, this is so great. It's been a long time 
since I've been on a bike that had this much power. Woo! Josh and I are gonna race. He's on a stage one, one fourteen. See you later. Man, this thing has so many cojones. I didn't probably do what Lance and them did, but I got on it, boom, hit that throttle, woo! Set me back in the seat, child, woo! My turn, my turn, I can't wait to check this sucker out. I hear that we're like in a group of like 10 people that have ridden this bike, so. Look at Whoa. me, look at me, man. Look at those eyes, brother, yeah! Well, we hope you're enjoying this Daytona series so far. Yeah, this episode is brought to you by Custom Dynamics LED Lighting. With over 20 years in business, superior customer support, and an industry-leading lifetime warranty, we choose Custom Dynamics to light up our rides. So why do you think that matters? Well, for us, it's just a visual safety thing. I mean, when people see you coming because you're so lit up, I mean, that really is important. And if you get stuck at night riding and your Custom Dynamics lights are on, it's amazing what it does to the road out there. It's a real safety factor. And we have been running these for years before we even started the channel. We sure have. So if you want to light up your ride, go to TwoLaneLife.com in the lighting section. Back to the video. This thing is a beast. You know, I think it's kind of a privilege. We're uh, in a group of like maybe 10 or 12 people in the world that have ridden this sucker. So. I'm really kind of pumped. You know, we're in traffic right now, but we're going to turn right up here and we are going to let it fly again. Uh, every gear is a handful of smiles, man. I hear that it cuts loose at the light. Wow, unbelievable. Man, you get pushed back in your seat. You just feel that gumption. And we're doing a quick stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dang. How do I feel? That was amazing. I mean, every time you twisted the throttle, your smile got bigger and bigger. And I feel privileged to be one of like 12 people to ride it in the world. So that's awesome. How'd you like it? It was amazing. It was amazing. Right? Great night. Crack that throttle. Crack that throttle. Now it's my turn, I'm gonna take it out. Yeah. Be a little ginger, the throttle, a little loosey-goosey, see how it feels. It's also been a pretty long time since I've been on a build bike, so uh, it's time. Okay. Gonna give her some beans. Show me those teeth again, because when you rolled up, that's yeah. what it was. Dude, it's great. It, it kind of, I don't want to say it ruined the power for me on a stock bike, yeah. but that was insane. That was awesome. So Love it, right? My day, I was kind of hurting from last night's activities, and that made up, made up for it, so. Well, boys, get over here. We want to thank Paul and Matt. Matt. How many other people have been on these? 10 to 12, I heard, I don't know. And we just saw all the yeah we saw all the media like the last couple weeks coming out about this thing at 135 and so 
were up front and pers personal and close to it, and we were able to experience it. We feel privileged and honored to have been able to ride that stuff. And I did ask Matt, is it going to have this? And I, I think he said yes. He was shaking his head. You know. I'm pretty sure he said no. All right, well, <laughs> Matt, Paul, thank you, boys. We appreciate that. What a run. Glad you liked it. See you down the road. Hey, look at the water! Oh, your bike, your bike! Yeah, go, go ride on the sand. Yeah, all right. You guys. said in the headset I said we should have went to destinations instead and he's like a hundred percent and then I said no, I'm lying because actually when we got off that beach everyone was laughing the chatter in the comms was crazy good stuff fun times hey I turned around because I was in some great stuff and I said I'm just gonna get out now good thing because they closed the gates but I was able to capture all of you guys riding down the beach but if you didn't cut and run so quickly it wasn't a cut and run I stayed for my guys and filmed them. oh you went but you got out. It was a good time. I'm glad you went. Totally what are we time. what are we doing after this? Hey, you can't do that in Sturgis either. We're going to dinner tonight with some folks yeah, that we know, friends of ours. Can't yeah. wait. We're hungry. Yes. Looking, looking pretty good, huh? It's pretty amazing. Nice evening out. So we're headed to Giuseppe's tonight. We're gonna have some dinner with some of the great Harley people and enjoy our time. Wait, isn't that Bob's the big boy? What's he doing over here swinging pizza? What's the business? Where are we at? We are at Giuseppe's Pizza. I hear it's really awesome. We're with a great table here with a bunch of cool people, and uh, we're going to eat, man, because we're hungry. I think a bike builder, actually, chopper builder, owns this place. And so I hear it's got <laughs> great pizza. And who did we uh, uh, fire? Who? You've seen, you seen her on our lives, man. Whoa. Is her name Amy or is it H? I think it's Amy. <laughs> How has the trip been so far? It's been awesome. All right. Oh. Excellent. What the heck is that? What do we eat? Uh, wings and what the heck is that? Bruschetta. Bruschetta. There's a, look at that. What do we got, dude? It's gonna be kind of a struggle with these spatula, dude. Look at this spatula, like a hamburger spatula. How am I getting in? LC is stowing some pizzas in his tour pack. So what's up? Did we just sit in a restaurant 47 minutes after they closed unknowingly? Yeah, we kind of overstayed our welcome. But hey, the food was good. The company was good. We That's learned right. a lot of good things. Sure did. I don't know what you're gonna do tonight, but I want you to be safe. I'll be safe. Okay, and then Lance and I are gonna meet with Matt and do a little, uh, maybe a cigar and a little libation. It's a good move, it's a classy but move. But you be safe. I will be I'm safe. I'm not gonna re-emphasize that more. What about me? Should I be safe One, or not? You do matter. not. It doesn't allow, matter. You, don't want I, to be safe. you didn't tell me to be safe, I'm a little butter. Because, because Lance said you and Lance are not out of his sight tonight, which means you're gonna stay at the place that we're staying. What do you think, Junior? Are you going to stay in or what? I don't have to stay in, but I'm not going out like I've gone out the last couple <laughs> of months, I'll tell you that. Yeah. And that's enough uh, for that me. Was, that was... How was today? We, should we close this thing out? It's closed out, isn't it? We didn't film shit all day. Just kidding. <laughs> Some basil hating, which is actually a fine whiskey. Yeah, we're going to go out and ride. <laughs> Can we see? No, I'm kidding. We're in for the night. What a great day. Rode the 135. We had uh, five of us ride the 135. There are only like 11 people right now that have ridden that uh, bike. Less. Really? He said less. Than he said less. Yeah. 
great meeting tonight, great dinner with the Harley group. And uh, we're going to stay in and have a cigar. The young kids are... Well, this has been a fantastic off. trip. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell your friends to do the same thing. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Boom!